What's up you guys, it's Erin. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today we are doing an updated everyday makeup bag video. About two, two and a half months ago, I took you guys with me and picked a bag of goodies for my everyday makeup, mostly for work. And I'm feeling like switching it up a little bit, so I thought I would take you guys with me and tell you how the products worked, what I used up, and what ones I'm going to switch out and we'll just go through that together. I really enjoy watching these type of videos and seeing what products um, my friends like to use in their everyday you know, makeup and I feel like it helps me get an impression on products I might not have been sure about and I can make a final decision whether, whether I like a product or not. And today we are in my guest bedroom, one of them, because since we last uh, so I told her we did the last video in my bedroom, kind of vlog style, and we painted and kind of put this bedroom together since I last filmed my makeup bag. So I thought it'd be fun to be in here today, and I love how filming looks in the natural light. So. Let's start with going through the products I've had in this bag, what I thought of them. And I was kind of being stubborn about, I would have done this video sooner, but there were multiple products that I was trying to use up. And I was like, I'm gonna use up one product and then I'll switch it out. And I did that. And the others, I'm pretty close. So let's start with the product I used up. It's the Urban Decay All Nighter. I really like using this for work because if I do have a, a decent amount of makeup on for work, then this really helps. And it was almost gone and I have a backup, so. This is the one product I used up from last month and it's already a backup. Love this. I don't think I need to say more about this. The product I replaced it with, uh, just cause I think it was a good thing for work, was the Ilia Blue Light Filter Protect Set Mist Setting Spray. It's kind of dirty cause it was, a, it was in my bag. But I really enjoy this mist. I don't know how much it does for blue light protection, but it has a really fine lavender mist and I feel like it sets my makeup down and helps everything stay in place, but I don't look dry or oily. It makes everything stay really refreshed throughout the day. I'm unsure if I'm gonna keep this or not. I kinda wanna put it down in my beauty room, but I'm really enjoying this for work at the same time. I should mention too that I found myself most using this bag of products for work. I sometimes would throw a few things on when I was running errands, but for the most part, if I'm gonna do any sort of look to go out for an occasion. I'm gonna go down to my beauty room where I have way more options. So this is almost always my work bag, but I did use it on occasion for other stuff as well, but mainly work. Just taking like the two brushes I had out of here. Let's start with primers. I used a quite a bit of the Tarte Base Tape Primer. It's a good hydrating primer. I would use this product when I didn't had done my skincare a few hours ago. Sorry, there's a truck driving by. I would use this when I had um, done my skincare a few hours ago and needed some extra hydration. I think I'm going to keep this in here because I'm close to using it up. It's over halfway done and I did get some use out of this. So I think if I put this in this round, then I might use it up. Another primer I had in here that I just didn't find myself reaching for at all. Actually, I don't know if I reached for it even once is the Touch and Soul No Porbulum Primer. I really love this primer, but I find for what this makeup bag is being used for, like work, I don't care to take the time to use a pore filling primer. I more use this type of primer when I really want my skin to look perfected and smooth for the day, but I just, I don't take the extra time. So I think I'm gonna take this out. Another product I got a lot of use out of is the too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is the shade Nude. It's a little bit yellow for me, but this is a great one and done concealer where I wouldn't use any foundation. I would just put a little under my eyes and in my T-zone and on any blemishes, and this um, blends into the skin really nicely. And I use this almost every day for work. And I think I'm gonna take this up so I can have this downstairs and then we'll pick something else. The foundation I had in here was the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. This is the shade, I can't find the shade, oh, ST7 DS. I love this foundation. 
I love that it has SPF. You can rub it in with your fingers. It gives a light to medium coverage. It's perfect for summer. I just didn't find that this is something I really reached for for work because it has SPF and I like to wear this outside. I felt like I didn't want to waste it for work because I really like this product, if that makes sense. So I think I'm going to put this back in my beauty room and we'll pick something else that I don't mind using for work because I work night shift and I don't, for the most part, need a lot of SPF. So yeah, I'm going to put this one back downstairs. Continuing with base, I also had in the Laura Geller, this is the Baked Balance and Brighten Color Correcting Foundation in Fair. This is almost gone. I really wanted to use this up, but it has just a little bit left. And I think I'm going to keep this in here just so I can use it up. And I actually have, I bought one powder foundation and then I got two more like in PR. So I want to use this up so I can test out other powder foundations. And I, I don't think it'll be long before this is gone, but this is such a good powder foundation. It's really lightweight and gives a little bit of coverage. And I believe this is the second one I've gone through. So yeah, I definitely recommend this if you can find Laura Geller. I know it's not carried at Ulta anymore, so. Let's move on to brows. So the main product I used for my brow was the Merit Brow Gel in brown. This, I just, I just don't like this and it's fine for work because I really don't mind what I look like for work, but I feel like this is not a brow gel that's made for me. I have very thin, sparse brows and this is a very it just doesn't feel like this is made for my kind of brows. I think this would be the perfect brow gel for someone with thick, nice brows that just need to be tamed a little bit. This just doesn't thicken my brows enough. It doesn't give enough color. I really have to pack it on to get my brows to look any darker and it doesn't hold. So I think I'm going to switch this out for something else. A brow product I didn't get any use out of was the medium brown brow powder from Anastasia. The only reason I didn't is because I didn't, I was too lazy, I threw this in here and then I didn't put a brow brush in here and you need a brow brush for this. So I think I'm gonna keep this so I can actually get use out of this next month or whatever and then I will get a brow brush when I go downstairs so I actually use this. Another brow product I threw in here, maybe I didn't put this in here initially but I threw it in here was the Anastasia brow definer. I think I needed a brow pencil one day and this only has what you see left in it So I'm gonna leave it in here just so I can use it up and I love this brow pencil. It's also another easy Slap it on and and go product and then I have a spoolie so for eyeshadow I had the rainforest of the sea volume 3 palette. I like these because they are just products that you can dip your finger in and just put them right on your eyes and they're super pigmented um, they're a little bit chunky, but overall they work well for the purpose. The only shadow, the only colors I really found myself using were Malibu because it's like a dark, dark taupey color that can be blended out and look neutral on the eyes because I don't like anything too gold. And then I think uh, Heat Wave is more of a light pink shade. Sometimes I put that on the center. This is good, but I have so many eyeshadow options, I'm ready to switch it up to something else. The last product for eyes is the uh, Medipharma Cosmetics Mascara, and this is like XL Volume or something it's called. It has a like, synthetic bristle brush. I think it's partially because I need another eyelash curler up here, but I really don't like this mascara. It's fine to throw on, but it doesn't give me enough volume. And then it it's really hard to get off. It, even when I use a cleansing balm, it just, there's like remnants around my eyes. And I just don't really love what this does. It doesn't hold a curl. It doesn't really give me volume. I thought I liked this more at first, but yeah, I have other mascaras open that I will exchange this one out for. Another product that I thought I might finish, but I didn't is my capless milk makeup baked bronzer literally this is all that's left it's in this nasty bag and i'm ready to get this out of my makeup bag so i'm gonna put this downstairs where i do my makeup tutorials and stuff because i will use this up quicker and i just want to get this plastic bag out of my makeup bag but i love this 
cream bronzer and I already have a backup one that's cleaner with the cap in my travel bag because it's a cute little mini so. Another product I didn't get use out of was the Hoola Benefit bronzer. This one I've hit pan on and I'm also trying to use up. I just didn't find myself reaching for a powder bronzer when the Milk Makeup bronzer was just easy to slap on just a tiny bit for work to give me a little definition in the cheeks and but yeah so I guess a powder bronzer isn't really necessary for me on the day to day. Cheek product that I love that I had in this past month was the Kosas Eighth Muse Color Light Color and Light Cream Duo. I got a ton of use out of this in the past month. These are some of the most beautiful cream formulas I've ever used. And if you can see here, I did not have any pan in either of these products before I started this little makeup bag journey. And I'm really proud of all the progress I made in there. But I have so many cream products that I want to get more use out of. So as much as I love this, I'm going to switch it out for something else. But lastly, we just have a tinted lip balm because I really don't need more than that in my everyday makeup bag. It's the Kosas Hyaluronic Lip Balm in Pulse. It's a tinted version. And I like this for work because it gave my lips a little color, but also hydration, but not glossiness that it would bleed onto my mask. And it would kind of be sunken into my lips by the time I got to work. So this is perfect. Really like it. And it has like a cool shape to it. That's everything in my makeup bag. Again, the products I'm keeping are the Tarte Base Tape, the Laura Geller Powder Foundation, the Brow Powder, and the brow pen. Everything else I'm gonna switch out for something else. So let's just, I'll take you with me and we will, I think I'm gonna do a little music montage and I will pick out some products and then we'll come back and go over them together. As you can see, I think I got some really good products here, but I'll take you through what I picked, my thoughts behind them, and that'll be it. So for cream products, I really wanted an all-in-one kind of to replace the Milk Bronzer, the Kosas Duo, and the product I picked is the Salt New York Quad that I have. It has a contour, bronzer, highlight, and blush. And I think this will be perfect because it's all in one. They're very sheer, blendable products. You can use your finger or a brush. And I think this will be perfect for every day for work. And as you can see, let me just show you a close up of how beautiful those products are. They are just stunning and I love this compact. Super easy to throw in here. So I'm happy and excited to get more use out of this. For foundation, I picked the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk in the shade 550 Light Medium. It's just a really pretty tinted moisturizer with like a little bit more coverage. It's more medium coverage that you can just throw on for every day. Sponge, brush, fingers, anything works well with this. It's affordable. I don't feel guilty about wearing it to work. Does anyone feel guilty about like wearing expensive makeup to work? It's like, I want to use my expensive foundations for other purposes. So I think this will be good for that. For concealer, I picked the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer. I have the shade Light. You can see it there. So this is a nice lighter coverage concealer. It's a little bit dark for me, so I figured it'd be good for the summer. And yeah, I don't mind this concealer, but it just doesn't have like a lot of product on the one, which is fine because I don't use a lot of concealer for work. So I think it'll be good to get some use out of this. For eyeshadow, I went the single eyeshadow route because lately I've just been loving single shadows and I didn't want something so bulky as a palette in my bag where I'd have to get out different brushes I wanted a single shadow that I can throw on with my fingers and then I have one that I will need a brush with. The first one I picked is the Rare Beauty 
liquid eyeshadow in the shade nearly rose this was sent to me through the octoly app and this is just such a nice what well, you can use this as a one and done eyeshadow i like it with the rare beauty uh eyeshadow brush that i'll probably throw in here it just stays put whether you wear a primer or not it stays put all day and it just it's so easy and it's pretty foolproof so I think this will be a perfect work eyeshadow and I love the kind of pinky tones and then to top that to give a little sparkle because I can't not have any sparkle I got the L'Oreal infallible eyeshadow in the shade amber rush this is like my probably my first single shadow I ever got can you see it there my first single shadow I ever got and this is like Jaclyn Hill's favorite shadow oh I guess it's old it fell out <laughs> we'll just stick it back in there oh I didn't get the bedspread <sighs> but like I said I've had this one a really long time this is like the first thing I brought off Jaclyn Hill's recommendation but it comes with a little guy and you can just press it back down I'm just gonna press it back down and this is such a beautiful shadow let me see if I can see that swatch there I have like mint swatches on my hand as well, but this is such a beautiful single shadow, still such a great formula. I just have to make sure I didn't get any on my bed. For mascara, I wanted to pick a mascara that I already had open to use, and it's the Ciate Wonder Wand Mascara. This is my kind of wand, like the big fluffy natural bristle wand, and I really, really love this mascara. So I'm excited to get some use out of that and get something new um, over the other mascara. For brows, we already had brow products, but I did add in the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel just to help my brow hairs stay in place while I'm at work. And this one's already almost gone, so this is a product I may be able to use up. Getting to the end here for lips, I got the Becca Hydra Light Lip Balm. I think it's called the Tinted Lip Balm in Tide. It's just like a neutral pinky tone. I can probably wear it over what I have now, but it's like a nice balm and it has a fruity scent it has enough tint but it's not overly glossy it sinks into the lips nicely and i think this will be really nice to throw on every day and i love the magnetic closure this is such a nice product and i'm still so sad about becca and the last product we have is a favorite of mine but i know it does go bad so i need to start using it up it's the glow recipe watermelon glow ultra fine mist and i got this in boxy charm premium when i used to subscribe so I love this. It's a favorite of mine, but like sometimes I find myself not using favorites because I don't want them to be gone, but I have a ton left. So I think this will be perfect for hydrating my skin on the day to day for work. So yeah, I have a little bit, it seems a little bit more condensed than the last time I did this, which I'm happy about. It's not so cluttered and I'm really excited to test these products out. I really like doing these videos with you guys. I'm going to try to do one before it gets to like two and a half months next time i just was being stubborn about using up products let me know in the comments if you like this kind of thing what you'd want to see in this video if the vloggy bedroom style if that's something you're into and um let me know what you want to see in future videos and we'll see you in my next one bye